Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's Small Kitchen Cookery. Thanks for joining me again and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making pico de gallo. That's right, we're making a fresh salsa. It goes excellent with tortilla chips and I think you're really going to like it. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. All right, before we can get started making our fresh pico de gallo, we should probably talk about ingredients. We start off with three Roma tomatoes, plum tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes if you'd like. I like these ones best, they're a little fleshier. They still have a good amount of juice. So three of those, use one medium onion. We're actually gonna chop that in half and only use half. About two to three sprigs of fresh cilantro. You can substitute with the dry if you like. I'd say about a tablespoon of dry if you're gonna go that way. One serrano pepper, you can use two. I like mine a little mild. One clove of garlic, we're gonna use the whole clove. We have one tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. We have about half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of lemon juice. So let's get started. First you want to take tomatoes. We're going to dice them up in a fine dice. Be sure when you're cutting to make sure you watch your fingers. There we go. Yeah, some nice juicy tomatoes there. All right, we just about have our fine dice of tomatoes here. Then we can get on to slicing up our onion. All right, let's talk about choices of onions. Traditionally, in Mexican cooking, they use white onions. I prefer a sweet onion, and that's what I have here. I just think that it gives it a better taste, but to each his own. All right, so you have your half of onion here. Take your onion, set it on the cutting board, and then make slices across, carefully watching your fingers. I normally do about two, because this is a medium size. Then make small parallel slices across the top. Be sure to cut all the way through. And always be careful to watch where you have your fingers at. All right, we'll turn it back the side this way. Then we're going to make cuts across our parallel. And it's going to give us small, tiny dice of onion. Remember, we want them small. This is a salsa. You don't want big chunks. And if you have a small piece of root in like that, you can just take that and cast it off the side. All right, those are pretty small dice. So let's go ahead and add that to our bowl. All right, so we have our tomato in there, and we have our fine dice of onion. Next, let's add our garlic clove. I think the best thing to do, this one's already peeled, but you just take it, take the flat part of your knife, and carefully just give it a good smack. All right, that crushes it, as you can see. Then we're going to dice that up real fine to like a mince. Be sure to watch your fingers again. Always keep them kind of curled in. If you got your knife blade there, what you're going to do is you're keeping your fingers back like this and your thumb in behind, and you're just kind of setting the knife there and you're kind of chopping. All right, add that to the bowl. Next, let's take our cilantro. All right, we got about three here. Easiest way to get the cilantro cut up, just kind of ball it up like this. Set it on your cutting board, take your knife, and carefully slice that there. And make it a nice fine chop here too. It's almost like a chiffonade. that to the bowl as well. Lastly, we have our serrano pepper. So let's chop off the cap there. We'll cut it lengthwise. Here's the point where you could actually take a spoon if you wanted to and you could peel out those seeds 
make it a little more mild. All right, and then stack the pepper and make your cuts. We want this to be a real fine dice as well. All right, and add that to the bowl. All right, let's start with the salt. Gonna just sprinkle it all across the top there. Our lemon juice. Kind of spread that around as well. And then finally, we have our tablespoon. You can go a little more if you need to of the vinegar. It just depends how much zip you like in it. We add that in. And then give it a good stir. I kind of like to press down a little bit on the tomatoes just to help release a little bit more of their juices. And kind of ensure that everything gets coated well with the vinegar and lemon juice. And then I get that minced up garlic in there spread around real well and get its flavors released. All right, and that's all there is to it, guys. We just made ourselves a fresh pico de gallo. It took us, what, maybe five minutes? So if you're short on time, you're wanting to make a good dish, right, go with pico de gallo, eat it with some chips. Hey, eat it on chicken, eat it on whatever you want. It goes good with anything. It's fresh, and you can use the fresh ingredients of the summer right in the bowl. I'm gonna stick in this in the fridge for about, I would say 15, 20 minutes is always a good rule of thumb. It allows everything to kind of macerate and uh, the flavors to melt together better. All right, guys, so I had the fresh pico de gallo in the fridge. Our homemade tortilla chips have cooled down and I have them all salted. Why don't we give it a try? Take a small chip here, get a nice amount of pico de gallo on there. Mmm. -hmm. Just the way I like it. You can taste that fresh taste of the tomatoes and the cilantro and garlic, and you get that kick from the serrano pepper. Excellent. So there you guys go. Now you know how to make homemade pico de gallo. I really appreciate you guys for joining me again for this episode of Mike's Small Kitchen Cookery. And remember, just because you have a small kitchen doesn't mean you can't make big taste. Bye.